Hello and welcome to your ACCA financial accounting introduction video which is going to run you through several things. We're going to start off by looking at the exam, understanding the format and know what we're working towards. Then we're going to move on to the learning resources available to us in FI Learn. There's going to be lots of information there and we're going to run through it so that you are very comfortable with what you have and how you can use it to work your way towards getting that pass. We'll talk a little bit about if you're retaking, what's changed. We'll also look at some techniques, so things like um, how question practice is important, different types of questions that you can use throughout the course and the approach to your mocks. There's also videos on um, all the lectures and things like that. So let's dive in. First of all, starting with what this exam is and what we're working towards. So you'll find this bit of information in your course notes and we're just going to talk about this exam here then. So you've got a, a two hour exam and it's on a computer. There's two sections, so you've got section A of the exam and then section B of the exam. Now, both parts, in fact, the entire paper covers areas from all of the syllabus. So you can't just think, oh, I can pass by learning only half of the syllabus, half of the chapters. You have to know it all to be able to give yourself an opportunity to pass. So the questions can test knowledge, so just simple learn and churn in a way, but you also need to be able to understand the information and apply it in different scenarios. So you do need to have an in-depth knowledge um, of the whole of the syllabus. So as I mentioned, there's two sections. Section A is bulky in the sense that it's 35 questions, but the questions themselves are nice and short. All compulsory, there is no such thing as an optional question in this paper. Um, there are two marks at each and it's all or nothing. So in this part there is no such thing as half marks or partially correct. If you make a mistake, for example, if it says select three of the following and you get two right but one wrong, unfortunately that is zero marks, okay? So you have to be getting that 100% right to get those two marks. It says both here for section B, you've got two questions, two questions of section B, and they're 15 mark questions. And again, all compulsory. With the 15 mark questions, you'll pick up marks for the bits you get right. So it's not all or nothing, you'll get marks where you get a correct answer. Just to really drill home the point, <laughs> they've said it again, all questions are compulsory. Bear in mind there's no negative marking here. It is always worth putting an answer down and giving a question a go. So make sure you're constantly um, trying the questions. The paper has a pass mark of 50%. So whilst when we're learning we want to be making sure we're getting things right, there is obviously a little bit of scope to be able to make mistakes and still come out with a pass. Just below here you can also see that there's a link to the ACCA website which directs you to the full syllabus. Now obviously the notes you've been given are a condensed version of this so there should be enough to get your pass there. However, if you want to go and discover something in a bit more detail then feel free to use that link. So now we're going to take a look um, at the learning resources that are available to you in FI Learn. So make sure you have access to FI Learn and then once you've logged on to your course you can see that there are several different tiles. Here's the getting started tiles and then it leads on to all these different chapters with a checkpoint every now and then. Let's dive into getting started and see what we have there. 
So the first document I want to run through with you is this course welcome and approaching your studies document. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is the minimum amount of time that this course requires. So it's quite a lot and that's purely because there's so much to learn. And again, that's just an indication. So I know when I was studying, I would certainly have been one of the students that took a little bit longer than the average. And that's absolutely fine. It's important you understand that it is time intensive and you allow enough time for your own understanding. In each course, sorry, in each chapter, there will be um, the time for that chapter as well. Again, it's a guide, but it allows you to decide, well, I've got two hours this weekend. I could look at this chapter. I can get that done. Things that might mean you take longer if you're pausing recordings to recap things, which is absolutely understandable and fine. If you're reworking questions that you got wrong the first time um, and trying to do them again to see if you've now learned the technique. So those sort of things can make things a little bit slower. So just to be aware of it um, and making sure you don't get stressed about how long each thing is taking. Again, it's better to understand it fully and um, get that comfort than to rush through. And then the other thing I want to point out is just that this is a really, really difficult paper. So when you come across challenges, again, just be prepared that that's normal and that's expected and you need time to get your head around the information. We're learning basic double entry bookkeeping. It is the language of accounting and it is the foundation which is going to set you up for your next um, course uh, which leads on from this which is financial reporting which again uh, takes it up a notch but all of the information we learn here if we learn it well enough um, will be used and be easy when we get to financial reporting and then you've also just got uh, a little link here to the study guide and learning outcomes on the ACCA website So running through what resources you have, you'll have course notes and the question bank in hard copy. And what we're going to run through on FI Learn is the online lectures and how you can use those alongside your course notes. And in fact, that the questions are also online so you can try them either in the question bank or on the online system. Something you'll see when we go through the chapters is this red, amber, green um, traffic like system. Now I've done this just so that you know how challenging that chapter is. So if it suggests one and a half hours and it's a green chapter, that should be pretty easy to maintain. That should be quite a comfortable a time estimate for you. However, the red chapters indicate that it is challenging. Now, this might be a case where if you've done accounting before, you've seen this topic before, it's not too bad and the time is fine. It might, however, be the case where this is going to take you longer need more focus, need more attention. So we're not going to do a red chapter at the end of the day studying when our brains are tired and uh, we, we're trying to squeeze it in. You might do a green chapter then or you might do some question practice. Red chapters, you want to be uh, wide awake uh, with a decent amount of time uh, to allow for um, delays in that understanding. And Amber, of course, is somewhere in the middle. We'll look at this uh, through FI Learn, learn but um, in each chapter you'll see uh, the questions relevant to that chapter and we'll also go through the checkpoints which um, allow you to see how you're doing at certain points throughout the course. It says here we suggest you try these at least uh, three times and that is the point I'm going to emphasise um, that question practice and repeating questions is really uh, a great way to prepare yourself for the 